Okay, well, good morning, everyone, and welcome. We are here from uh, Mexico, uh, Robin and I here in Playa del Carmen with Kai and Lynette, and uh, looking forward to sharing some business thoughts and ideas with you. And uh, we were surrounded by people and too busy to participate in last night's or yesterday's David Schmidt uh, LifeWave Connect. So <clears throat> we're normally talking about business, but this business is all about David and the patches. Does anybody or a few people want to give any big highlights uh, from uh, yesterday? And I think that would be probably appreciated by all. And you'll have to hit star six to unmute yourself. And not everybody at once. <laughs> Who's that? I'll I'll go. Oh right, Michelle. Hi. I was just trying hey. to get organized here. I don't have my notes in front of me, and you guys know what good note taker I am from the, uh, oh, the Empower yeah. series. But I did take notes. I don't have them right here. But he, um, uh -huh. what was what really struck me was um, the comfortable familiarity and respect and. Um, just the friendship between David and um, Melinda and Jim Caldwell says we don't call her Dr. Connor she's Melinda <laughs> and she's quite an accomplished you know um, I, I did hear she's a neuropsychologist and so they talked about a little bit about her background and a little bit about her a little sort of woo woo you know growing up with you know her grandmother and energy medicine and such um, but, uh, but, you know, she has, she has a degree, she has the credentials. And then they also spoke a bit about her daughter, Caitlin, who, as you all, all of you who were at the conference last January may recall that um, she was tw one of 20 picked out of 20,000 applicants to Oxford for her postdoc. So, you know, but between the mother and daughter, you know, there is, there, we have a dynamic, dynamic duo of, you know, brilliant scientists that are backing David. Um, so that was really fun just to hear that. David, you know, I, I listened to it twice. Actually, I listened to both morning and evening. And uh, David spoke about the mitochondria and, uh, you know, which is the powerhouse of the cell and saying that, you know, we're about age reversal. And he said, he said he grew up with Italian grandparents or something. And I know he's German, so he must, there must be some Italian also there, but he said something about Italian relatives. And he said, he saw them and he thought, I don't want to, I don't want to get old like that or something like that. When he was a kid, he was like, I just don't want to grow old like that. Um, and um, let's see, he, oh, we talked about the, you know, like having 25 year old cells in our body and that it's all about the mitochondria. Then, then Dr. or Melinda Connor said something about the telomeres. And you know, that's fascinating to people who are into anti-aging, you know, like it's all about keeping the telomeres long because when they shorten, I guess that's when we age. So David spoke about, <clears throat> about the new research on lengthening telomeres. Um, and he, and he, uh, he gave, gave credence to his, his faith and his relationship to God and saying, I pray. You know, we are here to serve, as Jesus said, we're here to love and serve one another and to bring hope, you know, bring hope into the world. And we have, we have the most amazing technology of any, and I've been in several network marketing companies. I've never felt as much heart and integrity. And my boyfriend listened and the thing that he said came across strongest about David is his humility, his extreme humility. He's just a brilliant, brilliant. He's a genius. He's a scientist. He's a giver. He's a philanthropist. He's, he's, you know, spiritually connected and he's just a humble man. He's just, and, and he, he, he feels like the kind of person you could just go up and just have a conversation with. And I did at the convention. I can't wait to do it again <laughs> the next time we meet in person. So there you go. There's a little rundown. And I think it's notable that your boyfriend's a medical doctor, right? And yeah. so he's used to being around bright, intelligent, health-oriented people. And so that's wonderful for, to hear his perspective on David, because we all have something very similar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gregory, can you hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. clear, clear. I, I did take some notes. And so I uh, maybe would highlight a couple of things that I found interesting. Um, Melinda said that when the type of testing that she does, it's amazing to see results in months. 
But when she does testing on the LifeWave products, she sees changes in the body within seven to 14 days. And that that absolutely mm -hmm. amazes her. She said, for instance, we see telomeres, quote, acting in a robust manner within seven to 14 days when we're testing these products. So that made a big impression on me because telomeres do determine how long you live and how healthy you live, you will live. And then David said that we are increasing not only lifespan, but health span. And I wrote that down as a quote that I thought was just beautiful. Um, he said, we have a wellness product, not a medical device. Therefore, you must not make medical claims. I like the term that we have a wellness product. And he said, we have chosen network marketing as a vehicle because it's a very fast way to disperse medical scientific knowledge. He didn't use the term medical, take that out, to disperse scientific knowledge. So those were points that I found very interesting last night. Those are beautiful, very salient points, thank you. And I love you know, the, the lifespan versus health span because sadly in America, I've heard that you know, uh, our lifespans you know, was expanding. You know, so people in America were living young, longer and longer. And my understanding is for the first time, our lifespan, average lifespan is decreasing and our health span is decreasing. So the gap between health span and lifespan means that the pharmaceutical industry just makes a lot more money from most people for a lot longer. It almost seems like it could be intention, you know, keep them alive, but you know, keep them stuck in, in the medical model. So um, beautiful. So that's so, so important. You know, we want, all want uh, uh, the lifespan and our health span to be really close. You know, I want to live really well till the very end, take some time off, say goodbye to everybody and be out of here. <laughs> Anybody else want to chime in? Yeah, I liked uh, their particular slant on how they, how respectful of the science they were. You know, like David talked about it, it's Melinda's view of him as the inventor, that he's going to come up with something and then, uh, think that it's going to do a certain outcome and Melinda comes along and her job is to prove or disprove that and along the way they found out all of these other side benefits that he wasn't shooting for at all he had a very single focus that had turned out to be true but so many other things too and that's on all the products the way I heard it at any rate wow wow that's and, wonderful and you know the future patches will be working with stem cells, but it will be doing other things than the X39 and enhancing what the X39 does. And I say, I only wish Ponce de Leon was born in this era. He was going all over the world searching for the fountain of youth and we get it in our mailboxes. <laughs> yes. The patch of youth. <laughs> Ponce de Leon. Oh, Ponce, there's Ponce right behind there me. Yes, <laughs> woohoo, he found it. <laughs> Thank you. Search of butter. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's, that's exciting. I wonder, uh, it, you know, I had speculated one of the next products was gonna be focused on extending telomeres because that, that's, you know, one of the other holy grails of anti-aging. Any indication uh, or age reversal, as we like to say, any indication about that? <clears throat> or he just was referencing, because Kay, you mentioned telomeres. I guess he was just referencing uh, Dr. Melinda regarding the X39. Yes, he didn't give us any hints on what's coming, unfortunately. No. <laughs> you know, he was very careful not to say too much about what's, what's coming around the pike. Yeah. Uh, okay. And I'm sure all of our spring sprint winners are going to be sworn to secrecy on whatever it is they end up trying in beta testing. But that's going to be very exciting. Anyone else? Any questions or thing you want to chime in about yesterday, uh, David and Dr. Melinda? I'll say something. Um, I heard him say that he's working on improving the my, my, I, I, mitochondrial function. And that's, that, that's his focus. This. So I'd say that whatever he's going to come out with will in X39 obviously has contributed to that, but there'll be more that will contribute to that, which is the cellular, your cellular health, right? 
Mitochondria so, is the energy production center of every cell in our body. Yeah, yeah. And, so his, mm -hmm. so I heard him say that that's that's his focus is uh, on um, in increasing uh, that that function. I had so, someone recently, you know, I, I end up now because I'm a official cancer survivor, right? I have people talking to me about cancer, and I had someone talking to me saying that he believes that decrease in mitochondrial function is a primary driver that lets all these other things go wrong with your body, including cancer. And people with high mitochondrial function don't get cancer. Now that's just hearsay and we're not, we don't cure yeah. diagnosis or anything else, but this is just, you know, along the line of the importance of mitochondrial function, that's the power plants of every cell in our body. And uh, when our power plants, when the batteries run low, it ain't good. Yeah. So one other thing I'd like to say. Um, yeah, Kai said, it's just like when the power goes low in your refrigerator, everything gets moldy. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, one other thing I wanted to say is I have um, been coming from the secular world of the corporation of corporations and been involved in, you know, quite a few Zoom calls, et cetera and um, meetings and I, I was just blown out of the water with uh, with this and any t uh, and how humble David was and how he spoke about you know this is um, a direct result of uh, divine divinely given to him right um, including all, all the extra benefits that <laughs> that came along so so if I ever had any doubt about working with LifeWave, that is 100% totally erased based on what I heard from David yesterday and that I'm divinely placed to be part of this. Oh, well, so many of us feel that if I, if I could say the hand of God in action and we're here, you know, by fate, destiny, grace, you know, prayer, whatever, here we are together. And I know a lot of us, uh, you know, share that sense of, of destiny and and opportunity here you know to be a greater contributor in to life uh and uh, you know we're so i'm excited about that and i i can't wait for it to be in a replay because i said we didn't get a chance to listen in to either of the sessions does anybody know when it's going to be up next mm -hmm. that's a robin question <laughs> it's it's if you they they say give it a week but we can probably see it on facebook live on the corporate site he did mention that it was would be on Facebook Business Builder Group. Right. Ah, so maybe it's there right now. Yeah. That he kind of I, I thought that based on what he was saying. Because they probably simulcast just like what we're doing right now. We're simulcasting on Zoom and on Facebook Live. And that's why, in case anybody didn't know, you know, you can go back and listen to these calls immediately on Facebook Live, on Facebook in our Facebook account. But uh, today is Thursday, so Friday, this uh, Thursday morning call will be loaded into the uh, YouTube channel. It, it, it is. is. There it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know what we're going to be doing today. You know, part that's of the way. <laughs> right? I, I just wanted to add, you know, we've all probably experienced this sense of well-being, you know, uh, with the X39, but hearing David and Dr. Melinda speak, it just brought this amazing, beyond sense of well-being, you know, a sense of new possibilities that really had been uh, uh, out of reach for how many generations all over the world. We're really in a special place. It's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, a lot of gratitude, let's face it. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Um, I, I want to say that I only caught the last 10 minutes uh, yesterday um, and I wasn't able to take down notes, but I thought that was so powerful because David was asked um, like what, what language, and we're always looking for better languaging to explain um, what the business is, is about when someone asks us, what do we do? And I found his response so powerful and I don't know if, if anyone else um, took notes on that, but um, it, it was very powerful uh, relating it to the person, especially when he spoke about um, pain management. It's just in that last 10 minutes. And then he also spoke about not, um, 
making medical claims because uh, and what complications could arise. Uh, but just approaching people, that was very powerful. Um, I'm definitely listening to that again. Oh, can you remember or paraphrase what he said? I, about Hasina is spot on. That was the main thing I took out of it, Hasina. <laughs> I loved it. Actually, I did take notes on that. He said that he tells people that he's using a new technology to reduce pain. He did use that word with light by 50 to 100 percent. So I think we'd want to change that pain to extreme discomfort. So I'll repeat it, a new technology to reduce extreme discomfort with light by 50 to 100 percent. Within minutes, he said at the end of that cake. Within that may minutes. Be. Yes. OK, yeah. I'll add that. Thank you. Within, within, I think he said two minutes. And then he also said that he's using uh, working with a company. I liked how he did that. That kind of cracked me up. I'm working with a company that activates stem cells with light. Yeah, period, simple. That yep. I wrote those down and I just, Casino is so right. Didn't, didn't he say, I work for a scientific research company? I seem to remember that. Oh, I thought maybe on the, I watched the morning one and I thought he just said, I work with a company that activates stem cells with light. It was so simple, so clean. Mm -hmm. And we all stumble around those words. And I find myself still doing that after years in, in the industry, when people say, what do you do? And you're like, the, 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 the. <laughs> so to have that really clear, simple, I, you know, I work with a company that activates stem cells with light or in the case of pain, you know, that, that statement, because now people are leaning forward and you don't become the information. You don't overwhelm them. You just, you know, oh, wow. Tell me more about that. You know? Even that is curiosity. so powerful. <clears throat> Those two statements. I work with a company that activates stem cells with light. Uh, that's going to get the right people's attention, isn't it? Or I work with a company that's using a new technology to e reduce extreme discomfort. And, and that's just kind of, I think the direction we're going, because I'm working on with, um, with compliance and with uh, Jim Caldwell on our, our new four page X39 brochure, and they're moving us away from the use of the word pain, as we've been discussing on several of the calls, uh, to extreme discomfort. And if anybody doesn't know extreme discomfort, extreme discomfort is they don't have it. So try another approach. This is really good. Any, anyone, I, I think, you know, this, you know, we're almost at the, the end of the call. So I think maybe the takeaway from a business standpoint is when people say, what do you do? Here's two powerful statements and maybe somebody could type them up and add them you know, into our Facebook group. But I work with a company that's using a new technology to reduce extreme discomfort. And did I hear uh, Michelle or someone say by 50 to 100%? 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is how, and if David said it, I think we can say it. <laughs> <laughs> so, or I work with a company that activates stem cells with light. Uh, we had a, a social gathering last night with the, uh, with the emerging uh, Plato Carmen group, and they're all light, light minded people, very conscious. And the fact that we're with a company that's using light technology to decrease pain, activate stem cells, decrease inflammation, do all these wonderful things. Uh, I had an aha moment, and I think I might have shared on one of the calls, but in the, in the shower in my thinking room, and we have this wonderful shower. It's actually a steam room with a shower in it. Uh, but anyway, I had this aha that what we're doing here with LifeWave, with our stem cell, excuse me, with our, our, our patch technology, photobiomodulation, in my mind is very similar to homeopathy because in homeopathy, you know, they reduce the essence down to the point where there's nothing left, no measurable physical substance, just the vibration left. And homeopathy is, you know, it's one of the few alternative medical technologies allowed by the FDA. Okay. So it's proven, it's understood. Maybe it's not understood by many, but it's proven and scientific. And we're doing something very similar. 
This is like homeopathic light therapy. Okay, this is like homeopathic laser therapy. Instead of going to uh, a naturopath or chiropractor or somebody else who puts their expensive laser on you, which is very cool and does wonderful things, we have these self-powered, you know, light therapy, homeopathic light therapy patches we put on on our fingers. I, I, I got a little cut on my finger, so I'm wearing X39 today. <laughs> it should be gone by tomorrow, hopefully. But, uh, you know, it's pretty amazing what Is we it have. cutting into the tequila bottle? <laughs> <laughs> we had a couple of sips, okay? <laughs> anyway. Hey, Jennifer, your hand was up. Did you want to share something? You all are so like-minded that you've covered it. I was, <laughs> Good. I, I was just going to emphasize that he did say, be able to articulate what the patch does in as few words as possible. And just because it's a business call that we, we were talking earlier this week about uh, three-way calling and just show in the spirit of just showing up and being yourself there is a little bit of practice maybe that we can do. I talked about, uh, I consider role playing. I have a mind of a teacher and just to get your 15 second testimony down, practice doing a three-way call. I don't have to be the MD. I don't have a PhD, but I can um, be able to articulate very simply who I work for, what I do and what these patches do. So that's just encouraging. It, it's a business for everyone. <laughs> everyone can do this. So awesome. like-minded people, awesome. You're all beautiful. Mm, beautiful, Jen. Thank you so much. What a joy. What a wonderful way to start a day with these calls with all of you. Uh, we just love and appreciate you all. So any final comments or questions from anyone? Uh, we're going to head off to breakfast here pretty soon. Um, I did have a question. Um, if somebody could tell me when Robin's, um, the webinar that she did recently, unfortunately, I missed it. I think it was on a third. Uh, I don't remember exactly where it's going to be posted and when. Uh, Robin did the business life way of connect. Do, oh. Robin, do you know where it's going to be posted and when? In the life wave um, YouTube channel, it's life wave health. Life wave health. Yeah, okay. just go to YouTube and look up Life Life Health and then search connect. Click on their channel and then click and then you can search for connect and all the Life Life Connects will show up. Thank you so much. I've had a little bit of trouble navigating YouTube and all of that. <laughs> you just are growing and blossoming right in front of our eyes. Life Life Health and search connect. Okay, thank you. I just want to say I love sending these uh, uh, YouTube videos on to prospects. It's been one of my greatest tools to use in enrolling people. They're just phenomenal. They're so impressive. They can say it in words that it's harder for us to say sometimes. Oh, Anne-Marie, uh, you know, you came in at the perfect time because you were going to be the icing on the cake. We get to congratulate Anne-Marie. She just became a director yesterday. And, and so yay success leaves clues she's using the videos yay well we're so happy to have you in our leadership team and uh, excited to see what's next so congratulations Anne marie thank you thank mm -hmm. you so much it's yeah. been all these meetings and all these zooms and all the resources that have done it it's amazing oh good well we love having you on the team it's wonderful so hi final words no? Keep it, keep going. You guys are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I was listening as I was eating my breakfast and um, I learned a lot of things by what each person said. It was, yeah. uh, you know, very, very clear. You're all really good at what you do. Uh, all righty. Well, aloha. Uh, keep patching. Adios. Hasta, Adios. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. <laughs> I do want to say one thing that's been amazing for me and I shared last night. I feel like ever since we've been here, I've just been smiling the whole time. And <laughs> people are just happy here. And there's happy music everywhere. And 
just people are open yeah. and warm oh, and yeah. friendly and relaxed. It's You're just, sure. it's really, really um, a wonderful yeah. culture to be in. Mm. And um, we've been meeting people from all over the world and uh, that are very, very uh, Pete's done a magnificent job coming here knowing no one, going to coffee shops the right same one at a time, walking down the streets and the beach. He has collected some of the most incredible, influential people from all over the world that we got to meet last night. So true. Um, it's going to be very fun to see what unfolds <laughs> here. And people yeah. just kind of got stuck here when COVID happened. They were going somewhere else and they couldn't get there and they ended up here. And there's some kind of alignment going on yeah so with that being said if everybody just wants to unmute yourself and say hello goodbye that'd be great and we'll uh, uh talk to see some of you on saturday morning's call uh in a couple of days thank you thank you thank you congratulations amory thank you so much have a great day i'll you. All right. Thank Bye. you. See y'all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.